All right, guys, so you have your two brushes, right? You have a big one and a small one. One of them is going to be just for water, and one of them is going to be for ink. There's exceptions to that rule, but this is just a good rule of thumb to have right now. So start with the big brush, all right? And all you're going to do is you're going to load it up with a little bit of water. You just make sure the belly goes into the water container and it will just absorb. And then what I normally do, instead of starting to paint, I actually will tap my paintbrush. And it'll put a couple little dots on there. And when I have those little dots, then I know I can start pushing the water around. And again, this paper, you have to work pretty fast with this paper because it absorbs the water so quickly. And I think the hardest part about this is figuring out how much is too much water and not enough water. So once you have the water down, you're going to actually put the toe of your bristles just barely in the ink to suck up a little bit of ink. And then you're literally just going to run it right on the edge. And what I'll normally do is I'll work it back. And if I have too much water, what will happen, and this is what happened as a child learning how to watercolors, my color would smear and go everywhere. It's, and that was because I didn't have paper. The paper was poor. Or if I had too much water, I would lose control. And so this is a, a lot like playing an instrument or something. You've got to be fluid, just like the material. Come in and mop some of it out. Got some kind of weird glare right there. So you let it dry. If your values are too light, you just let it dry and then come back to it. So again, start by putting a couple dots of water in the center. This would go the same with watercolors. And then since we're trying to make a sphere, I'm actually pushing the water out in a circular motion. And that's going to help the ink run in a circular motion. Take the toe, dip the toe into the ink. I can actually see that the ink sucked into the belly. And then I'm running the toe just on the edge of where we put the wash down. This is called wet on wet or a wash, spit shading. Often people will be like, oh my gosh, I went too dark. It's way too dark. You then take a dry brush and you can come in and mop that up. Come back to the one that you did that's already dry or drier, depending on how much water you put in. And you can come in and put a very, 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 very skinny line. I 
think the cool thing about a, a good brush, guys, is you can make a super skinny line or you can push it down and you can make a fat line. And these brushes are so good that they snap and bounce back very quickly. All right, so now that you're experimenting, I'm going to walk around. I'll have some brushes with me if you need help. I will help you.